and oh, in this video I'm going to show you how to force the card on a spectator and um, how to control that to the top of the bottom all right so say you want to force the ace of speeds on a spectator there's a simple one I'm not sure what it's called but you flip one like one third of the deck and then flip a little more than that and then the first card they come to is their card ace of speeds so that one's pretty easy to do that's an easy one there's also um, this one's very useful and that I see a lot of people use is a riffle force. You just get a break on your card, Deuce of Spades, and you just riffle down the side of the pack and they could say stop right here, but you just take off where that break is. So that's an easy one um, to force a card. Now, yeah. So now I'm going to show you how to use, how to get uh, the riffle force. Or how to get those cards to the top of the deck. So say when you if you when you do that one and you flip like two halves of the deck and you say, Alright, I'm gonna get lost. There's different ways to do it. You can just put it on top and then cut the cards and then get a break. And then you can do table cuts. Oh yeah, sure. And then your cards on the top. Or you could do what's called a double undercut. You get the you do the same thing as before, like you get a break, and instead of taking it from the top, you take it from the bottom, and that's how you get a card to the top. And uh, what else? Oh, that's how you get a card to the bottom. So say you want to get the ace of spades to the bottom. Instead of getting a break on top of it, get a break under it. Under it. So yeah, before you get a break under it, and just do the same thing as a double undercut. And then your card will be on the bottom. And then you could, oh, how to get a card in the face up in the middle of the deck. So, oh yeah, before I get the card at the top, or the bot to the middle of the deck. I forgot to tell you this. But, here's one I really don't see that a lot of magicians do on YouTube. But I think it's kind of useful. So yeah, you get a break, you get a pinky break, and then you transfer it to a thumb break. And then you go for a riffle shuffle, but you go all the way down until you reach the break. And then you just keep shuffling until it gets to the top. Make sure you leave it on the top, and then that's a way how to get it on the top. So I think that's a useful way that not a lot of people know and use. So yeah, you do something called a browy reversal. You get a pinky break, then you transfer it to a thumb break. And then you take a part of the bottom of the deck, you flip it over and put it on top, and then you take the other part, the other, the one that's left, your, your card's face up on there. And you could either go like this, or what I like to do is put it on top and then cut the cards. That's for me, that looks pretty convincing. So yeah, that's how you get a card on. Yeah, I'll just show you. Face up in the middle of the deck. Let me just spread them out to show you that it is face up. So yeah. So yeah, those are some useful ways to force a card in a spectator and how do you make it using those things to get them to the top or the bottom or face up in the middle of the deck. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.